going on here? So welcome back to Resident Evil Village, Shadows of Rose. Uh, do we all remember uh, that one level from Mario 64, Tiny Huge Island? I, I like that level. I remember its predecessor on, you know, in Super Mario Bros. 3. Oh, your friend from the hiding He's gonna save them on your way here. Oh jeez, they're moving. How did it not occur to me that Tiny Huge Island was, uh, the next logical step after Giant Land? That they took, like, a decade to get to? Pro probably more like eight years? I don't know. Although, I, I want to question how Rose saved her game on the uh, typewriter. I can't let them see me. No, no, she, she uh, hits the keys the, the same way you do in Resident Evil 4 VR, where you just, like, awkwardly poke at the keys one finger at a time. I guess I should keep heading this way. I'm, I'm gonna stick with my narrative that she danced on it like a DDR pad. Uh, I don't, I think she could have managed it. Anyway, this is a stealth section. It's, uh... This game, I don't think, was really designed with stealth in mind. Yeah, this part sucked. It's like one of the few things I remember of my playthrough. So, uh, these, these dolls are going to be patrolling on set paths, and their vision cones are, uh, represented by the, the, the light beams shooting out of their eyes. You can take cover, and as long as, uh, you know, you're completely covered, and you're, you don't cast a shadow from their lights, you're fine. Their pathing is also incredibly simple, like, even simpler than, like, the genome soldiers from MGS1. Yeah, their pads are really simple and basic, but at least they can't hear you or, like, go, <sighs> Whose footprints are these? case our objective is to uh, make it to the polyp get rid of that and then clear the path forward If you get caught, it's not an immediate game over, but you are going to get fucked up a little bit by the dolls. You get one chance. Yeah. Uh, thankfully they let you breathe. So, I believe this introduces the idea of, uh... Of using polyps to drop distractions for, for any guards. So, instead of do letting you do, like, Metal Gear or Hitman, where you can throw things to distract them... So many... They see me, I'm toast. There's gotta be something I can do. You gotta... You gotta look for the set pieces that are explicitly there to distract. Yeah. Theater. I don't know if they'll ever come off of the, the the cages that you drop once you drop them. I mean, maybe if you go up and touch them, they'll they'll pounce on you. But 
Maybe don't go do that? Dang, that's a big cat carrier. It looks like it could be a rose carrier. Yeah. <laughs> also, I think this is the room that messed me up a lot. I don't like this room. This room kind of sucks the first time you go through it. Just have to get past them. <laughs> this is would be like my fifth or sixth time seeing this room now. I still think it sucks. Honestly, the thing I don't really like about this section is that, like, I feel like you could have a lot of creative uses for Rose's mold powers in a stealth session, stealth setting. Yeah. But they don't do any of it. It's all uh, linear set pieces. Like, there is one solution to every scenario. You can fudge it a little bit if you act, if you fuck up, but you. You don't really get the same kind of creativity you get out of, like, Hitman. Which, to be fair, the Hitman this is not. Yeah, like, expecting Hitman from, uh, like a, a three, four hour DLC expansion pack, like, that's asking a bit much, I know, but... I just think you had, you could do something really fun with the skill set we have? Yeah, they, they could have come up with something. A little more interesting than forced stealth in a game not built for stealth. Yeah. Falling into that trap that oh so many titles love to fall into. Yup. Anyway, what, we need to drop a cage once we get underneath the desk, and then that distracts everyone so that we can go get the polyp on top of the desk, and we can run through this way. Happens to little girls who can't play nice, don't you? They get punished. No way. Yeah, now we gotta deal with mom again. <sighs> you know, I'm really tired of you picking gamer every time we play Smash. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fun stage. <laughs> Besides, we've played it enough that you should have a bunch of tricks for, like, avoiding mom. Anyway, we have our, some mold charges back now, which means we can use it on the, uh, on the dolls. Yeah, I feel like the mold charges should have had a really slow recharge rate. That would have been nice. Anyway, uh, focus on the dolls and they'll just explode? I think they'll come back after a little bit though, so don't don't dilly dally. Yeah, this familiar taunting laughter is annoying me. Uh yeah. Takes you back somehow, doesn't it? Anyway. Be careful as you, uh, slowly circle that bucket with the doll. The first couple times I ran through, I went too fast and touched the doll. I think the bedroom is just over there. That's, uh, that, that's bad news. Oh! I think I was just out of range of that. <laughs> this section, this section here, I really don't like. Gonna, gonna stun the doll. And then mom comes out of there. So now, uh, I suggest hiding behind the this little kitchen island here, and be careful because that the doll that uh, exploded is almost certainly going to pop up. I actually forgot I could do it on that cycle. <laughs> the first time I did it, I got caught by that a lot by this bit a lot because I kept. Uh, exploding the doll too early and then uh, it would come up stab me a lot and then I would be stunned so that the, the mannequin would just pick me up and kill me by the way if the mannequin touches you that's an instant game over 
I feel like that much should be obvious based on the last episode, but, y you know, doesn't hurt to reinforce that idea. Fun stealth. Yay. Thankfully, once we get to the bedroom again, we're done. <sighs> no one likes Rose. Because she's a free. Hey! She has those crazy powers. What? Just like her dad. That's why she doesn't have any friends. Shut up! You know it's true. What is wrong with her? Good thing moms don't know how to open doors. She'll she'll figure it out eventually. So we gotta run. And oh, it wasn't Rose that got smaller, the dolls got bigger. Oh, you're the girl without any head. We don't have to play with you. Imagine what my life would have been like if he hadn't died. Would he have taught me to ride a bike? Helped me with my homework? Read me a story every night? Would he have been there for me? Proud of me? Sometimes, when I feel lost or afraid, I try to imagine what he might have said to me. Feels familiar, like I've been here before. Look at all the decorations. Some kind of party? If only you knew, Rose. If only you knew. But yeah, welcome back to the, uh, the Winner's Household as of 2022? Is that when the uh, game took place? 2021? Uh, I think I want to say 2021. Yeah, so after after that horrible hellhouse of a dollhouse, uh, we can just take our time, relax, enjoy the comforting sights of uh, home? Question mark? I'm so lucky to have you both in my life. What's that voice? Is that... Dad? This must be my parents' house from when I was a baby. I bet other things also have my dad's memories. She's so little. Hard to believe one day she'll be old enough to share a bottle of wine with her old man. So dad was a wine drinker. I've just noticed those are bottles of rosé. I kind of wonder if they oh. took them up because of Rose's name, or... She bangs her spoon every time I play this. 
I wonder if she'll be a musician. I wonder if Dad played any instruments. I have to admit, this section didn't land that well for me. Because I, I kept expecting it to be a fake out. <laughs> <laughs> she just cannot get enough of this stuff. I bet Dad would feed me as soon as I started crying. Yeah, for, for anyone in the audience, uh, this is 100% genuine. Like, no, no fake outs to be had. Just supposed to be a nice, heartwarming... Uh, Trip down memory lane, I guess? Someone else's memory lane. Yeah. I can't really say it's Rose's, because, you know, she wouldn't really remember any of this. I think this is setting up for her half-birthday party. Hey, wait a minute. Where's the, where's the note on the fridge saying no mushrooms? <laughs> I don't think that's been uh, written yet. <laughs> Rose is such a picky eater. All she ever wants is fruit puree. I guess I've always loved fruit. Because remember, in the main game, like, Ethan does comment that, like, uh, they have so much baby food that's just going to waste because, quote-unquote, Mia insists on making all of Rose's baby food. Oh, yeah. So I guess this must be before Mother Miranda impersonates Mia. Yeah. There's a lot to look at here, so take your time, look around, do as Michael says. Uh, there is an achievement for getting all of the uh, memories. Upstairs? I'll take a look. Why would you cover a perfectly good mirror like that? Maybe they broke it by accident and didn't, and uh, couldn't replace it just yet. This tune has always been special for our family. I think I've heard this before. It's pretty. Yeah, no memories in the bathroom. I haven't seen mom in ages. That seems a bit off. I feel like there's a lot of ways you can take that statement. Like, bottom line is, like, Rose and Mia apparently have little connection with each other now. But the details of that, I have no idea. I, I know. She's probably a little too young for this, but it was too cute. I wonder how we played with this. I mean, you, you pick it up and throw it and uh, see what number comes up. It's probably a great way to help little children learn how to count. I'm still preoccupied with the question of whether Mia's a bad mom or if Chris forcibly removed uh, Rose. This is my bedroom. Yeah, I, there there is nothing else about their relationship that could suggest either way whether or not uh, Mia is a bad mom or not. She's already growing out of these onesies. I can't believe I was ever this tiny. Oh, they covered up this mirror too. Hmm. I can't believe they've been vampires this whole time. <laughs> <sighs> I 
She's growing so fast, getting bigger every day. This crib is so little. God, that's a chunky laptop. It's so big. I wonder if she'll look like me when she grows up. Oh, I looked so happy. Now that is a good question of whether or not uh, Rose does look like Ethan. I guess we'll never know. Also, Ethan's note to himself there does reveal where the drawer key is if uh, you didn't Think to turn it around, I guess? Yeah. A letter for me? Happy half birthday, Rose. My gift to you is a promise. I'll always be there for you, no matter what. I'll be there every birthday to watch you blow out the candles on your cake. I'll be there to make you breakfast. <laughs> and walk you to school every day. I'll be there when you have a bad dream and sing to you until you fall back asleep. I'll hug you tight when you're troubled or worried and tell you that everything's gonna be all right. You are my precious Rose. Never forget that, Dad. No one loves you. <laughs> Have the purifying crystal? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> For that, you'll have to go deeper. Much deeper. Poor Rose. <gasps> she can't trust anyone. <laughs> Why are you doing this? No one loves you. And when you're dead, no one will care! <laughs> Enough games. Now you'll drown. I need I to get out of this house. First. First? Surprise! Evelyn's back. Why does she only want you? What are you talking about? Look at you! You are beyond worthless! Seriously, what is your problem? So yeah, another chase sequence to uh, bookend this all. And this one's also pretty bad. Yeah, this one kind of sucks. Just so Around here, Evelyn throws a couple of dolls at you and so many friends that it's never enough. They come out so fast that it's really hard to react to them. I hate it. Where do you think you are? Oh look, your families. Enough of this shit. There's a bunch of uh, mannequins, but you know, stun them with the mold and uh. They can't follow for a bit. Now, why does that corner, like, 
That corner trips me up every time, too. Base game. <laughs> DLC. I don't know. Ah, yep. <laughs> and with that, we now have five charges. You know, at least the, uh, at least the, the big jar of mold really uh, refilled everything. Yeah. Given that I don't think there's any more white sage to pick up, I think it has to. <laughs> All right, it's boss time. You will never be. Never! In so much as you can call this a boss. So... Evelyn's gonna shoot out wind blasts and then teleport away. You just gotta do as Michael says and wait for her to. I have been such a good girl! To leave it herself open. Usually, that'll be when she blasts three times. Yeah, it sounds like Evelyn hasn't learned any new tricks. Guys, we were supposed to be a family! completely obsessed with stupid old Rose! I also don't think she's learned a whole lot uh, since she was in the main villain seat. You'll die here! The Evelyn fight's not too bad, honestly. It's just you do have to be aware where Evelyn is. If you'd never been born, it would have been! After three hits, you can start making your way up the stairs. Uh, do be careful though, because Evelyn is up there. This is stupid! <laughs> you can take a couple of hits. Huh? <gasps> 
Don't give up, Rose. Find that crystal. 